Hello everyone, this is Dr. Anand here and welcome you to the ninth tutorial series. In today's video demonstration, I would be showing you on how to use the concatenation node using the NIME platform. Let me explain this entire video demonstration using a very simple example. Just assume that you have two huge data sets which has been taken from a car manufacturing unit. And apparently you being a sales manager has been requested by the top management to perform few analysis and to submit the reports to the decision making team. And the decision making team has given you two different data sheet or data set. The first data set has data pertaining to the sales before 1995 and the second data sheet has the data pertaining to the sales after 1995 that is pre-1995 and post-1995. So how do you merge both the data sets and that has to be done only using the concatenation analysis or the concatenation node. Now let's very quickly get into the NIME platform. You can see my workspace is empty. So apparently first I have to use my file reader. I'm going to my node repository search bar. I'm going to type file and as soon as I type that I can see a list of different nodes which are getting popped up. Let me choose the file reader node. I'm using the drag and drop option. I'm dropping it into my workspace and you can see my file reader node. So this file reader node is for my first data. So I'm going to give a name tag as pre-1995. And I also have another data sheet which has to be executed. So I need an another file reader. Again, I'm going to my node repository, which I'm seeing on my left hand side. I'm using my drag and drop option and I'm dropping it into my workspace. And I'm going to change the name tag into post-1995, right? So I'm going to right click my first node. I'm going to configure it. I'm going to browse for the file. So I have two different files, concatenate one and concatenate two. So my data is added to the NIME platform. I'm clicking apply, I'm clicking OK. The signal changes to yellow. Now it's ready to be executed. I'm executing it and I'm going to check using my file table. So apparently you can see that all the data pertaining to pre-1995 has been added. I'm just going to scroll it down so that you can know that this data is only till 1995. Now, let me repeat the same process for my next node, that is node 2. I'm going to configure, I'm going to browse for the file, I'm going to the place where my data sheet is there, I'm going to use the second data sheet. Apply and OK. So now the signal is in yellow color, executed. It's executed. Check your file table and you can see that this data is after 1995, right? I think probably it might be till 2000 or 2005. So now, how do we merge both? So merging is very easy and you have to do it using the concatenate node. So I'm going to type con, yeah, C-O-N-C -C, and it automatically pops up. I'm going to use the drag and drop option. I'm going to use my cursor to connect my first file reader node to the concatenate and also my second file reader node to my concatenate. So now right click your concatenate, configure and you just check there are two different approaches here. One is to use intersection of columns and the other one is to use union of columns. And however union of columns is the default option and you just have to leave it as such. Apply and click OK. You get to see that it is an yellow color. It's ready to be executed, executed and right click, go to your concatenated table. And now you can see that you have data starting from 1980s and just scroll the data and you can see that it spans more than 1995. So both two different data sheets have been merged together. So this is the use of concatenate node. So I hope this video was useful to you. Let me meet you with a next video demonstration using the NIME platform. Thank you.